Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Table topics is the way that we at Toastmasters practice extemporaneous speaking. So often in life, we have to just start talking about something that is not a prepared speech. So we like to prepare for unprepared speaking with table topics. We come up with something, some topic, some prompt. And then in this club, somebody will volunteer to take that prompt and run with it. Try to speak for one to two minutes. The timer will help with that. Try to have a beginning, middle, and an end. Maybe you want to think of the punchline first and then get started and roll to the punchline. But whatever works for you is perfectly valid because remember, Toastmasters is a supportive environment, meaning it's the best place to fail. So uh, especially tonight, when we have such a great, great theme to work on, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Imagine you're Ferris Bueller. We're all Ferris Bueller at some point in our lives. We were all, I hope, high school seniors sliding and rolling toward graduation. And just imagine you're there in bed with your books, maybe a backpack, whatever, over there. And as the alarm goes off, you think, I should like a day of levity with a friend. Instead of going to school, I'm going to call my friend and we'll goof off. So Toastmasters, what friend would you pick to take a day off with? Any volunteers? Christine. My fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guest, given an opportunity to goof off, what friend would I invite? Well, that question, the answer to that question is quite easy because in fact, I was advocating for a day of goofing off just a little bit earlier this, this afternoon. Maybe not quite a whole day, but a good couple of hours, which as a grown up, I think is as close to a full day of goofing off as any of us is going to get. I would pick my darling husband, Mr. Timer there in the blue plaid. In fact, I was advocating this afternoon that, hey, on Friday, do you think you can finish work a little bit early and maybe we could, I don't know, go play bingo at the casino or, or maybe, I don't know, like just kind of goof off, you know, like finish around maybe two or three. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I mean by just a few hours of goofing off. Unfortunately, my husband was the voice of reason and said, if I don't finish my hours, then that comes out of my vacation time. And that was an answer I could listen to. But I find this quite ironic because I will take the steam out of his table topic speech now and tell you that he was the goof off in high school. And I know exactly who he'd call given the opportunity today to have one day of goofing off. Um, so I leave you with that, and Mr. Table Topics Master, ask the timer, who would he goof off with? Mr. Table Topics Master. Thank you, Christine. And John, we, we cannot disappoint Christine. Who would you call Ferris Bueller, John? My fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, <sighs> To have my most enjoyable goof off day, my Ferris Bueller's day off, I would conjure the powers of the universe or of the Egyptian god of the dead, whose name I can no longer remember, Osiris, eh? and bring my best buddy back from the grave just to have another day with that goofy son of a gun. Because with him, there's, you know, let me explain. You know, when you have that one buddy with whom there's no such thing as social propriety or pressure or worrying about being very socially inappropriate and just being a, a jack and ape. Well, that time was all of the time with Kevin and he just made it so okay to have that time 
and in anything that we did. We'd be goofing around whether we were off playing cribbage up at the, um, the golf course up on the top of the hill over in, um, in Bellevue, making the, uh, the hoity-toity types all nervous because we were very much, very much dressed down and behaving like yahoos up there. Or if we were rebuilding my uh, alternator for my car, or if we were going to a public speaking event or a leadership event or a, an event where he's receiving a promotion in the United States Air Force, all of them, or <laughs> any one of my three weddings, he was my best man for all three of them. And every single time he and I would instantly remove all nervousness, all, <laughs> hmm, said another way, social decorum, but it was always okay because we were tight like this. And so that wide world is what I would experience with Kevin on my Ferris Bueller's Day Off because it wouldn't matter at all what we were doing. It would all just be perfect time. Mr. Table Topics Master. Thank you, John, for that both entertaining and, and, and loving tribute to your friend. Is there anyone else want to tell us who they goof off with or get the next question? You have your choice. Raise your hand. Franny. There we go. I'm fine answering the question that the other, that Christine and John answered, um, but what's your next question? The next question is, you've got uh, something to do that's very important. You've got to call the school pretending to be your parent and explain that it's okay for you to be off school. So pick one. I'd love to hear your explanation or your friend. Well, I'm not going to pick the one that you just announced because I got really good at that when I was in high school. So we're just going to, I, I had a background in theater and I could change my voice and lower it a little bit. So I didn't sound so much like a teenager. However, so I'm going to answer the first question as to what would be my Ferris or Franny Bueller's day off. And I'm going to go with uh, the last two goofy days off I had, and they were both with gal pals of mine who are lawyer buddies. So one is another family law attorney, and she called me when La La Land was in the theaters. And she said, we work too hard. We need to go laugh because we both enjoy movies and we both enjoy musicals and we both do family law. And I completely agreed with her. And I totally played hooky on an afternoon and I went to a matinee instead of working. The second one would be with my good friend, Juliet. She is my best bud from law school. And it's a, it's a goofy, it would be a Bueller's day off for her as well because she's she has her own business and she's married with a 13 year old son. So the poor woman never gets a day off. It just doesn't happen. She's a parent. And the last day she and I had off, we went and this will tell you how long ago it was. She talked me into, it took her about three seconds, talked me into taking off of work and going to see the Ruth Bader Ginsburg, not the documentary, but the in in defense of sex? No. In, you're nodding your head, Christine. In, okay, I'm close to it. <laughs> so, but it was about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh my gosh. So on the one hand, it's taking a day off. But on the other hand, that's like, okay, 35 years ago, a feminist going to hear Gloria Steinem. That's not really a day off. It's sort of a day of celebration. But those would be my two. Other than that, I'd come home and bake cookies and it'd be a great day. That's it. Thank you, Franny. That sounds like a, a wonderful couple of days off. Does it, anyone else want to talk about who they'd go goof off with or would you like the next question? 
and any of our guests can, Casey, is that you gesturing? No. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Franny's muted. Madam Toastmaster, how much more time do we have? Mr. Table Topics Master, we have quite a bit of time because we only had two speeches. So I think we have time to have lots of table topics. And I believe I saw Laura Tritz's hand. Laura Tritz, were you thinking to do one? Sure. Okay, okay. Laura, <laughs> Laura Tritz. So well done, Laura. You could either tell us who you'd pick to go goof off with, how you would explain to the school that it's, it's okay for my child to go goof off. Or the next question is, your excuse worked. You're out on the town with your buddy. What are you doing? Okay. Um, hello, fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests. So the third question is um, an interesting question because once you said that question, it reminded me of a time when I did similar to what Franny did, I goofed off, I didn't go to work. And instead I went and hung out with a friend and we wanted to go see this band play. And so I called into work and I said, I had this really bad migraine and this was in college. Um, and so we went and we saw this band and had an incredible time and just so much fun and just, being carefree and crazy with my friend. And we went to leave and my boss passed me up as I was leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew I didn't have a job the next day. <laughs> so, but it was worth it because I got to see the band that, you know, I wanted to see with my uh, friend. I did a lot of that kind of stuff, very spontaneous when I was younger. Another time I remember I was at, I was working at Denny's as a waitress and it was late night and my friends had come in from being out on the town and they're like, and I was at the cash register in my little Denny's outfit and I was ringing people up and my friends came in, I was like trying to talk to them and work at the same time. And when they came up to the cash register, they're like, we're gonna go to this great party, you gotta come. And I was like, and my boss was mean and I really didn't like working at Denny's. And I said, okay, <laughs> I just shut the cash register door and walked out and <laughs> went with my friends. But so that kind of just reminded me of those old childhood crazy days. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Yeah. Everybody has a past. <laughs> yes, <I guess. laughs> so, so Vicki, uh, would you have a story you'd like to tell us about either who you would go goof off with or how you might have goofed off in high school or later? Or would you like to take a chance on another question? Can I hear the other question and make a choice? Well, if you've seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, you remember the famous scene where Ferris Bueller says, we've got to drive a car. And my buddy's dad, you know the scene, has a beautiful car, not just any car, cherry, free condition, sports car, so wonderful with the you know, uh, odometer carefully monitored. So your job is to persuade your friend to let us drive the car if you choose to accept it. Well, I will talk about the friend that I would goof off with. Oh, yes. So, um, fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests, um, if I had the opportunity to choose a friend to goof off with, I would uh, choose my friend Tori. Um, she has just as much experience in goofing off as I do. We she uh, would have no trouble motivating me to the goof off stage. 
she is currently unemployed and doesn't work. So she's asking me to come over anyway. And I think we would have a good time playing the ukulele. And I can't think of a more fantastic way to forget about work for just a few hours. Thanks. Thank you, Vicki. Now, someday you've got to tell us about playing the ukulele. You can't just drop a phrase like that and walk away. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I might have to share that in the future, for sure. So now everyone has either spoken or taken a role. Is there someone who's taken a role who wants to speak? Or could I invite Victoria, please? Thank you, Randy. Uh, I'll continue on a goof off theme because unlike all of you apparently or those who spoke in this meeting, I, not that I don't have a friend to goof off with, but I cannot good goof off. So I um, don't like parties and I don't like wasting my time, which sometimes is not that good, but I would never take a day off. I never skip the school day and I would never skip a work day to do nothing or to go and goof off. Because to me, it's a waste of time. As you heard in my speech, I pretty much have a strategy for everything. So for example, two weekends ago, my husband and I went all watched two missing movies and goofed off for almost six hours. I put their son to sleep. I helped with the dishes. I already wrote a couple of emails. I started to read a new book and then I was like, I am leaving. I am just, it's not for me. I cannot goof off. And if I take a day off, no matter of a friend, I always have a plan. I am a very much a strategic person and I'm very ambitious. And I always need to accomplish something in, on that day, even if it's a Sunday. And probably for me, the goofiest thing to goof off is just stay all day in bed and read book. And that's to me, the goof off. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria. I think it's a testament to the wonderfulness of diversity that we have such a range of goof ups in our club. Is there anyone else, uh, perhaps our, one of our guests, Sue or, or Noon, that would like to tell us how they would goof off or who they'd goof off with? And then uh, Amy, of course, even though we can't see your smiling face, you should feel free to chime in. Certainly, I'll do one. 